Okay, you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. We are unboxing two figures today, and they are two giant one-fourth scale figures. They are bunny figures from Freeing, and they are the new game, uh, Alva and Hifumi bunny figures. Um, so that's Alva right there. Look how gorgeous she looks. Uh, and then we have the Hifumi one, uh, 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 which is right here. I mean, look how huge these boxes are. Like, I don't know if this is gonna uh, fit in the entire, like, <laughs> screen. Yeah, super exciting. So I'm gonna, instead of doing these in, like, two separate videos for, like, each character, I'm going to be unboxing them both here. Uh, so hopefully this video won't be too long but if it is, I'm sorry. So please make sure you like and subscribe and uh, let me know what you think about these figures. Uh, yeah, so okay, I think we're gonna start with Alba because she is my favorite. I really do love Hifumi too, but I don't know. I'm just, for some reason, I'm super attached to Alba more. Um, Hifumi, I believe, is like the second on my list, my second favorite. So I'm so glad that we got uh, both these figures made. Um, all right, so I actually already opened the tape on the outer box, so we can just save some time. Oh my god. So these are actually my second and third quarter scale figures, uh, quarter scale bunny figures, actually. My first one was the uh, Ryuko Matoi figure and I just love that one so much that I I don't know I fell in love with bunny figures because of that one and Yeah, here we are now. We <laughs> now we have more I did have the Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid uh, Todu quarter scale Pre-ordered before and then I ended up canceling her because it was just it, there, there were too many delays. I have I have a good amount of Toto figures So I, I don't think I think I can skip this one out if I really want it. I can save for it eventually, but um, I like these ones much better Okay, so we got the first layer with all the accessories. Let me go ahead and just take her out of here It's gloomy outside today. So I'm sorry if the lighting isn't the best I'm gonna be honest, I do have a ring light, but I feel like even when I use a ring light, it looks like crap. You guys, I just get so excited every time I open quarter scale figures. I mean, I've opened a quarter scale figure once, but like, ah, uh, this is, God, it just feels so, like, ah, uh, it's so magical opening it up and having a figure like this big staring right back at you. Oh my god, of a character you love especially. Ah! Okay. <gasps> She's so cute. Oh, I didn't even notice that. That's interesting. Okay. What is this? Oh, her pigtails. <gasps> okay. So, I guess I'll just show it to you like this first. Oh, please, lighting. Work with me. Um, <laughs> so she comes like this. Uh, <laughs> she has these, of course, to keep the holes in her head for her ear open, and then um, she has other ones that are square to keep the hole for her pigtails open. So her pigtails do come separately. So her pigtails are wrapped in here. Ooh, they do feel pretty fragile. The only new game figure I have is the Alva um, Nendroid, which I absolutely love. I think it's so stunning. It has never given me a problem with like falling apart or not And I think it's because it was done at a time or released at a time when Good Smile actually um, Gave a shit about their Nendroids in terms of quality control or whatever. Okay, I'm so I'm just gonna say this right now I'm so grateful that her pigtails despite coming separately fit in there really snug you actually do have to like push a teeny bit but it's like not that big of a deal it's like it it, it sits in there really snug which i'm so happy about <gasps> and here she is oh my god okay ah <laughs> she's so cute i will say her ears do fit in snug as well but i think this ear what is that her her right ear um fits a little 
less snug than her left one it still it still sits there pretty nicely but it does wiggle a tiny bit more I don't know if that's only an issue for me or it's just like a whole manufacturing quality thing issue but uh, here she is she go gorgeous I think what I'll do is let me <laughs> let me um let me unbox Hifumi and then we'll talk about both these figures at the same time at the end and then um, I had trouble doing a b-roll for the Ryuko bunny figure because she's so tall and like you can't really balance her on my like turntable um, so I'm going to try my best to make a decent b-roll with these two as well uh, we'll figure it out but sorry if it's like a horrible b-roll but um, it should be at least a little easier with these guys because they don't come with an actual base and they're kind of um, sitting lower and kneeling and not standing so hopefully I don't know hopefully I can get you guys a decent b-roll but anyways let's un unbox Kifumi now and then we'll talk about them all together there is some there are a few things on my mind that I want to mention about this um, gal over here so okay let's let's put her aside for now also, oh my god, while I unboxed Kifumi, I completely forgot, I want to say thank you guys for 800 subscribers. <laughs> I know it's not like, I don't know, I feel like everybody says that, oh I know it's not much or like it's nothing compared to blah blah blah, but thank you anyway, but really thank you. Um, I feel like I suck at saying thank you because I never know, this like I am genuinely grateful but like despite me being so grateful I feel like I never know how to truly express it if you know what I mean I, I feel like I I suck at that so much but like I don't know thank you guys <laughs> like this is so fun for me I, I don't know I don't know thank you guys I suck at this um okay I took her hair piece out look at that big ponytail ah, be free my queen ah, he's so ah. her hair is so cute okay no hold back hold back show the figure first like okay let, um, <laughs> do I really need to like give you guys a review or is just showing this to you enough I didn't even put like her ponytail on or her like ears. I mean, oh my god. And here is Hifumi. Okay. So, uh, now let's skip to B roll and talk about these two gorgeous, gorgeous girls. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> okay. Damn, I feel like I'm so red. What? What is going on? Okay, let's start with Alba because there is something that I literally did not realize until I got her. Her bunny suit isn't black. It's a dark like navy blue. But when you look at the prototypes, at least for me, I thought it looked black to me. Like I literally didn't realize <laughs> it was this navy blue. It almost looks um, metallic sort of I guess that's probably why but I actually prefer it over a black suit not only because I feel like black is like the basic bunny suit color but like also Hifumi's suit is black and yeah it might be nice if like they were matching but I think this is better because it gives it so much more variety and I think it also looks good with her hair as well and her like color scheme in general I think the thing that made me want I guess both of these figures in general and like what sold me on it was just this cute I love this pose I love I love Alba's little like finger shushing <laughs> kind of shy pose this is again my second and third bunny figure but it's also my these are my first kneeling bunny figures without a base and I love I love a figure that can just stand or sit on its own without needing a base. It makes it so much more, I don't know, quote unquote, realistic. 
and it makes it <laughs> so much more easier to display and it saves so much space and I, I love it. I love how her hair or her pigtails are always like flowing out. There's so much like movement to it. Um, despite them being like two thin pieces of of hair. I think if I were to like really nitpick on her and I this is something I always say about <laughs> Figures, it's just my preference. I guess Maybe but I really do wish her eyes were bolder in color and more saturated She has like beautiful pur purple eyes. I just think if they stuck out a teeny bit more it would it, it would bring the character a little bit more to life. But honestly, that's that's just, I think that's just a me thing. I feel like I'm the only one who complains about that. Um, I love saturated colors. I love like, I love things that pop. Oh, with her pigtails, the little flowers on her pigtails, I can't remember how they're actually supposed to look like in the series, but I noticed, and let me actually grab my Nendroid for this. So after I record this video, I'm gonna have to go back and kind of look and see which version of her like little flower pieces on her hair are accurate to the series because on the Nendroid in the middle of the pink flower, I guess hair tie, there's white in the middle uh, versus this freeing figure that just is completely pink and it has no white in the middle of it. Uh, hopefully that makes sense, but you will see it on the B-roll, I'm sure. Yeah, I don't know. I can't really remember which one is accurate to the show. I, I don't know if Ring just forgot about that or that's just something Good Smile added, which I don't, I feel like, <laughs> I, I feel like that doesn't happen where like Good Smile or a figure company just decides to add something to a character that's not canonically there. At least not from what I've seen or what I know. So I, I guess, I guess it would be more accurate to say that she is canonically supposed to have it, but Fring forgot about it or just decided to opt out of adding it there for I don't know what reason. But like I said, I don't know until I stop recording this video and actually go look at an image of Alba from the series myself. But I just wanted to point that out. I thought that was interesting. She's beautiful. I love her. Okay, so now moving on to Hifumi uh, next. Ah! Okay, so now we have our girl Hifumi. She overall just looks so stunning, but they, they really nailed it with her hair because I am looking at her hair and I am so jealous. <laughs> she canonically has like beautiful hair in the series and it flows so nice, but seeing it depicted on in like figure form is just such a different experience. Like when I put on her ponytail, that ponytail had some weight to it. It was, I don't know, it, oh, the flow, the, the, Oh my god, I don't know how to express how much I love her hair. I really do think I like her hair more than I do Alba's just because there's so much volume and it's so, her hair is so thick and so flowy and I don't know, it looks, there's like so much life to it. It looks so good. Even like the strand pieces on each side of her hair have so much flow to them and ugh so much volume and they like land on her body so <laughs> beautifully i love it um i also really 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 wanted to point out how much i love that they added the mole on her, her like right breast i love it it's just a tiny again it's like one of those tiny details that i always mention that i love and so like i had a little bit of a gripe with the saturation in alba's eyes I also have the same <laughs> thought with or opinion on Hifumi's as well. Just a little bit more color would have been a bit nicer. In terms of like the shading of her bow, I think it's a little too harsh. I don't know if any of you who have this figure or any of you that are looking at the b-roll agree with me or not, but I think the darks are a little bit too harsh. I think if they like, I don't know, faded into the red a bit smoother it would have been nicer but i don't know i don't really i don't think i care that much about that i, I just remembered this but um i i love the pose and i love her expression so much but i think she like if if you were to <laughs> imagine her in the series 
uh, and you were to put her in a bunny suit, she would have like an embarrassed expression. She would be super shy about it. She would almost, I wanna say freak out, but you know, she'd be like super embarrassed, super shy. Um, here she's smiling, which I, I, I love a lot. Um, so I, I'm not saying that I prefer it that way versus this way. I'm just, it's just something that I'm pointing out, I think. Um, she does, she, she is blushing. She is a little shy in this, which is super cute, but I don't know. I just thought that was worth pointing out. Um, since it is Hifumi we're talking about. So with that, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. I absolutely love these figures. I absolutely recommend them. I was surprised even that we were like getting these figures. Like this was something that was like unexpected to me because New Game is a bit of an older one, I, I think, older series. So I don't, the fact that it got like this much attention to like get this big of a figure, I don't know, it's just like, I wasn't expecting it. I don't know, maybe that's just me. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below and I will see you and thank you for 800 subscribers and I will see you in the next video, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Yeah, I think that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Bye-bye, guys. Mm -hmm.